Okay, hello. Welcome to a new day. I am on my way to my hair appointment. I'm just getting a haircut. Um, I was going to color my hair, but I kind of want I'm doing it. I changed it to next month, like a week before Christmas, because I want my hair to be super freshly colored. And I don't want to have to deal with grow out during the holidays. So I kept my appointment for a haircut today because I desperately need it. So this is my hair right now. I just have it up in a claw clip. But when you see me after my cut, it's going to look a little different. Um, and then, but first, before that, I'm going to try and... First of all, I'm hungry, so hopefully I have some time to maybe drive through McDonald's and get something. And then I'm gonna go to, there's a children's consignment store on the way to my hair girl. And basically they will buy your items, your used items for you. So I'm gonna go drop that off. Um, and then I'm gonna go to my haircut and then come home chill out for a bit then go back out for my nail appointment because these are not doing it for me I can't I need my long nails back so that's what I'm doing so I will say goodbye and catch you guys soon. I might vlog at the salon, I might not, but you will definitely see my hair after. Hi there, how can I help you? Hi, can I get a McChicken meal? McChicken meal, yeah. yeah what with, drink would you like? Uh, Coke. Coke, okay. And that's it. All right, if your screen looks crap, you can drive ahead. Good morning, welcome to another day. It is November 20 something, <laughs> I don't know, I can't keep up at this point. Um, just dropped off the oldest at school, went to the grocery store, grabbed literally four things. Um, on your bum, on your bum. We were out of coffee, so I had to pop into the grocery store and get more coffee pods. Um, and this is what I picked up at the grocery store. We usually get the Starbucks, Starbucks um, coffee pods. We have a Keurig. So I got that. I got some bow tie pasta to make dinner. I'm going to do bow tie pasta with 
chicken turkey sausage and then in some barbecue sauce such a good dinner meal normally I would do this with chicken but I'm kind of tired of chicken so yeah if you guys are looking for literally the easiest quickest meal ever bow tie pasta your choice of protein barbecue sauce picked up some bear paws because the little one wanted some and we are out of hot chocolate so I picked up this carnation one simply hot chocolate it's got only five ingredients in it anyway that's that's the haul picked up our mail and there's the little one what you doing what you doing what are you doing are you being crazy as you can see we put up our tree we are going for a gold, red, and white theme. So we obviously need some more ornaments. There's um, spots where the lights have gone out, so we need to get some more string lights. Um, but this is a, I believe, seven foot tree, maybe seven and a half. Um, and we got it from our mother-in-law, brand new. She bought it a couple years ago. Um, but she didn't like it, so she stuck with her old one. I believe it's from Michael's. Um, so she gave it to us. So we've had it for a couple years, but the lights have already gone out. So we've already had to add two strands of lights. I don't know if it's from being shoved in the bag for a whole year, so it kind of ruined the lights. Um, but yeah, there's some, there's a few ornaments, but we obviously need some more. Um, but it definitely completes Mommy. the space. Mommy. I hung up the stockings last weekend. So the stockings are up. And yeah. Go. That is the... Mommy. Look at his head, you guys. Oh my gosh. So what happened? So on Monday, I kept the oldest one home from school because he's... He was sick, wasn't feeling well. So I'm like, okay, you can stay home today. So the boys are playing in the living room, okay? I was sitting on the couch right there. I'm in the kitchen right now, right? So not too far away. I get off the couch, walk to the kitchen. Five seconds later, I hear this one crying, screaming. I run over and all I see is blood running from his temple down the side of his face. His shirt, his hands, there's blood on the floor. So of course I start panicking, I start crying like, what happened, what happened? I FaceTime Mark like five times because he was at work. I finally FaceTime him, I text him, I'm like 911, like call me back now. So I show him on FaceTime and I'm like, what do I do? This is so bad. There's literally a hole, there was a tiny hole in his temple. So. The older Ew. one bumped into him and he fell into the coffee table corner, sliced his head open a little bit. So I wasn't sure if he needed stitches or not. So Mark came home from work, drove us to the hospital, which is literally up the street. Um, luckily it wasn't too much of a wait in the ER. And two doctors looked at him and <clears throat> they both decided that he actually didn't need any stitches. Um, it was already like clotting, so the doctor said it's already healing on its own. He doesn't even need any stitches. So, anyway, that was so scary for me. I, I, I didn't know what to think, right? Because I couldn't tell right away what happened, why he was bleeding, where he was bleeding from. Um, and I was panicking, which is not something you want to do, but when you see a bunch of blood running down your kid's face, oh man, I'm just thankful it wasn't his eye. Um, so, yeah, that was, Monday was not a good day for me. It was stressful and traumatizing. Ah, <sighs> boys, I tell you, they will give you a heart attack daily. Anyway, that's the story. He's good now. Um, we were in the hospital for a couple hours. They gave him 
couple popsicles to eat. He was a good, brave little boy, weren't you? Were you a brave little boy at the hospital? Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I will see you guys later. I need a coffee and I need to deal with this mess. Okay, you guys, I wanted to do a quick little haul for you because I went to Winners last night and I found these few items. First of all, I picked up this plaid with gold um, ribbon. I'm gonna fill our tree with this. I found this adorable Santa mug, which gave me a vintage feel. They only had one though, which sucks, so I might have to go to another location and see if they have any. I grabbed this ceramic um, jar. I loved it. As soon as I saw it, I was like, I need that. Because it also gave me that vintage feeling with these like old school toys and presents on it. So I'm gonna use this in the kitchen for our coffee pods. And then this is probably my favorite purchase out of everything. This vintage wrapping paper. Look at it, you guys. Look how cute that is. Oh my gosh, I love it. So that's my um, little haul, nothing crazy. Speaking of old school and um, that nostalgic feeling, I have been really gravitating towards the vintage look, like everything that reminds me of my childhood, the 80s, the 90s, I was born in 93, so not the 80s, but sometimes I see things that'll remind me of the 80s. My husband, was born in 87 so but I don't know I just feel like things were <sighs> things were so much simpler back then and whenever I see like old school stuff like this it it makes me happy but it also makes me sad at the same time because it just reminds me of a time that was simpler at least it seemed simpler it seemed less stressful people were happier the news was actually news. <laughs> Kids would play outside until the street lights would come on. You could buy a full cart of groceries for $100 instead of just 10 items for $100. And I don't know, I just, it makes me sad because I miss that time. I feel like the world was less crazy and dumb and people weren't as sensitive and not everything was political and I don't know, I just feel like everything is so backwards now and the world we're living in now is just so crazy and honestly I feel bad for my sons growing up and this is why I feel like if we don't stand up now as parents then they're gonna have to do it for themselves and I fear that they won't be able to. Anyway, that's what I have to say. I don't mean to be <laughs> like a Debbie Downer here, but I wanted to share those thoughts and feelings because I'm sure a lot of people feel that way. Um, anyway. Okay, the boys are gonna decorate this felt Christmas tree that they got from grandma. So these are all the ornaments. So it's just Velcro, so all you're going to uh, do is stick it on. Here, it. go put it on the tree. Is there a star one? Uh, let's see. Yeah, this uh, one. Yay, star! What the tree? you got to show Walker the Velcro because he doesn't know. Look, Walker, look. 
this sticks at you. Yay! Good! I'm not Yay! Okay, Mark and I are making sugar cookies. And this happened. Well, this is how the cookies turned out. We already had some. Pretty good. <laughs> Myself. And got the last batch in the oven. It is November 30th, the last day of the month. Tomorrow's December 1st, which means the start of a whole new vlog and the last month of this year. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, it's the last day of November. We got snow here yesterday in Vancouver. Look at that. They said it was going to be like eight inches of snow, but there's barely any and we can already see the grass. The sun is out. So the snow is going to slowly melt, but it is still very cold. Um, anyway, I have to go charge the camera and I'm going to end this last November vlog here. Um, I'm just going to do a lot of cleaning today and prepping and really getting into the Christmas mode now because there's not much time left. So I hope you guys had a good November. I hope you've enjoyed the vlogs. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Um, thank you so much for your support on my teeny tiny channel and I hope you guys have a good day and I will see you in December. God bless you and I'll see you later. Bye!